Hi, this is David Kirshner for WestHempstedEcho.com, and I'm here with Moshe Hill, who's a political columnist, and uh, he's a uh, analyst for the uh, Queen's Jewish Link. Uh, you can reach him at HillWithAView.com. And uh, Moshe was also uh, organizer and uh, was the MC for the rally that took place uh, this past Sunday. So Moshe, welcome to uh, to West Hempstead Echo. Thank you for having me. So uh, this past Sunday, there was a, uh, a significant, uh, well-attended rally um, that took place at Hall's Pond uh, at the corner of Nassau Boulevard and Hempstead Avenue. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was uh, an incredible lineup of speakers. Uh, it was raining, but despite the rain, it was very well attended. Um, Moshe, maybe you can start off by just giving us a little bit of the, the, the background of how this uh, came about. Well, all the credit goes to uh, Debbie Ginsburg, who is a resident of West Hempstead and long, long time um, uh, advocate for um, mental health and, and, and you know, Jewish, uh, the Jewish community. And uh, she saw what was going on in West Hempstead um, regarding uh, the attack on the, uh, uh, the Hanukkah menorah outside of a Rabbi Lieberman's house. Um, she saw what happened on Halloween night with that uh, vandalism. There, you know, there's been reports of uh, a lot of uh, attacks and uh, and harassment around the community. And she said, you know, we need a show of solidarity with everyone in West Hempstead, not just the Jewish community, but uh, the Christian community um, and anyone who's willing to attend. Um, and she is literally the driving force behind this whole thing. I came on later, you know, um, and she was kind enough to uh, invite me on. And, uh, you know, once I'm invited on, you're not going to get rid of me that easily. Um, but uh, she was the driving force. She spoke to um, Scott Feltman at uh, One Israel Fund, who was the sponsor of this. And she really... Um, push this. One Israel Fund is also an incredible organization that helped out um, with getting this going. You know, it's not easy to put all these things, all these two things together. So, Moshe, the the rally was really well attended. You know, did 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 the numbers meet your expectations? The numbers actually exceeded my expectations. Um, I, we were hoping for um, around 200 people. I estimated around 300 people, um, which is really great, um, especially when it was raining. I, w I said, um, you know, it, if it rains, you know, uh, it, we'll get what we get. Um, that's why I tell my kids all the time, you get what you get, you don't get upset. Um, Debbie said, you know, if we have 20 people on stage and 20 people in the crowd, that's 40 more people than would have attended normally. Um, so, you know, we had, uh, I estimated over 300 people. Um, it, I just know that when I was standing on stage and I looked out at that crowd, it was just an incredible thing to see. Yeah. And, you know, I saw you getting charged. I saw you getting electrified, and I and and you know I was standing right up there doing the videotaping, and you know it it was for you. This must have been just a really special moment. It really, really was. You know, um, I definitely ha I get very emotional when it comes to these kind of things. I definitely have the capacity for. Um, screaming and yelling about things that I'm passionate about. Um, and uh, I was just very happy that uh, I had the opportunity to, you know, take a central role in this uh, in this rally because I love West Hempstead. Uh, I was born and raised here. Um, I hated to see what was happening. Um, and honestly, uh, if it wasn't for Debbie's uh, leadership and getting all this done, I probably would have been just sitting angrily uh, in the corner writing my columns about what was going on. But the fact that I had the opportunity to stand up on stage and, and talk about the things I'm passionate about is uh, an incredible thing. Yeah. And the, the rally itself was marred with some controversy. I know that even while during the speeches were going on, uh, there were at least two cars that passed by with people, you know, screaming out. Yeah. And uh, there was also uh, an incident in the park itself. Maybe you can give us some background to, to exactly what happened. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the story of the day was the rally's success, you know, and anytime there's a successful, peaceful demonstration of, of solidarity, of love, of community, of standing against hate, you're going to have people who side with hate, who side with anger, who side with, with, you know, against the Jewish people who are gonna show up and try to ruin everything. They did not ruin anything. 
they their attempts were failures. They are cowards. They didn't. Uh, they drove by, honked a horn, kept their faces covered, um, like cowards do. You know. Uh, they so during my speech, um, I s saw one of the cars driving by, and uh, I happened to be talking about uh, ignorance at that moment. And, uh, Great timing. I, and it was it was it was almost as if I planned it. Yeah. I, if someone accused me of planning it, I said I'm not that smart. You know, I'm not that good. Um, but uh, it it was an incredible moment. I didn't even know about the other incident with somebody wrote signs and and left uh, pictures on on these uh, mock body bags um, in the park. I didn't even know about that till after the event, mm -hmm. um, after the rally. So, you know, I don't think that the story of Sunday is um, the is the hate. I think the story of Sunday is the love. Unfortunately, hate gets better, more clicks than right. love does. Yeah. So, uh, I, the only when I do see a story, um, I try to get on and correct the record. Um, you know, but. Uh, you, everyone's trying to get clicks, and I'm no different. I try to get clicks also. <laughs> no, t totally understood. So the, the the rally ended with a song, Dream the Impossible Dream. Yeah. What's next? Like, you know, where do you see this all going? And if you could dream the impossible dream for the current horrific situation that we find ourselves in, what would what what do you think that dream would look like? Well, um, we have two different situations going on right now. We have the situation that's going on in Israel, the situation that's going on in America. The situation that's going on in Israel, um, you know, yeah, hopefully uh, everyone will be safe. Um, Israel will defeat their enemies um, and will get back to some semblance of normal life over there. I was just speaking to family yesterday in Israel and, uh, you know, they're going through a war. You know, it's, it's, it is what it is. Yeah. That's what's happening and it's not going to stop anytime soon uh, as long as Hamas is in charge. The, the issue in America, it may take even longer. Um, in Israel, they are united. They know who their enemy is. They know what their goals are. They are... Uh, the people in Israel, there's a unity government, they, the left and the right, they both want the same thing. In America, it's not that simple. Um, this is going to be a generational fight that we have ahead of us. Because if you're seeing the polls that, uh, you know, the Harvard-Harris poll that came out last week, where half of 18 to 24 year olds say that they want Israel to be ended and Hamas to be taken over, that is something that we need to fix in our education system generationally yeah this will not be a quick fight this will take a long turnaround and every community has the responsibility to do that for their kids into and the universities have responsibility to do that for their for their um for their students donors have a responsibility to tell the universities we will not fund this kind of education parents have the responsibility to have strong moral convictions so their kids don't get their morality from somewhere else yeah um and this is something that we need to do for the next 50 years. Absolutely. And, and, and education, I think, is really at the root at the root of it. And, and it really has to start at a very early level. And it's unfortunately, you know, the hatred is so indoctrinated that uh, it's really going to take a huge effort in this country. Yeah. So, uh, Moshe, I want to thank you very much. Uh, Moshe, again, is a, a columnist for the Queen's Jewish Link. You can get to Moshe at hillwithaview.com. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you so much for your time, and we want to thank you, Debbie, and all the people who helped put this uh, rally together for the community. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you very much.